Happy Monday, ghosties. Happy uh, Monday, Jay. It's another great week uh, to be listening to this podcast. Uh, Brad, this past weekend I was performing, and uh, one day I was in Key West, Florida. Okay. Never been to Key West, Florida, and just making small talk with a woman uh, at the venue. Mm -hmm. And um, here's what I'll say, just kind of a spoiler. As bad as you claim to be with dates... And like, I don't know when no, that... No claiming. It's true. Okay. Okay. As bad as you are <laughs> yeah. with dates, not knowing if something happened three weeks ago or yeah. six months ago, mm -hmm. not knowing anybody's, you know, birthday and stuff like that. Um, I would dare to say this woman is maybe worse with numbers. So we're just small talk. I've never been to Key West before. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah. You, you should try this uh, you know, for coffee, this. And I was like, how many people live here? And she was like, Ooh, um, <laughs> How many people live here? Live here, like it, like mm. define live, you know, because there's people that are inhabited here are, already. I'm like, this is taking longer than I was hoping the, like, it would go. Oh yeah, <laughs> just just making small talk, just looking for a, yeah, just a average ballpark. Ooh, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I know, like 15 years ago, we mm. yeah, like the, tw the census was in 2020, so it's been like, <laughs> but like, COVID. I don't know if everyone okay. really. Assume, you know, mm. we've probably inflated the rates by at least seven and a half percent since then. So. so it's a lot of this, a lot of her yeah. talking out loud. And then eventually her answer is, uh, I got to go with, mm, I can't even say a number. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't, Give me something. <laughs> no, no number at all. Just, not, just no number. Okay. Uh, Isaac was there too. We're like, no worries. Yeah. It's all good. Do, do just, you feel like that was worth the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny that she, I mean, this is a woman that does not need to be on any type of high stakes game show. Right, right. Just like, all right, what do you think? Deal or no deal? Um, uh, uh, do I have to choose between honestly, those two? Uh, I'm just, I, I'm not going to play. Can I do a partial deal? Can I do no. minority owner? <laughs> I don't know. why. I don't want to have I, to decide. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, just, she starts backing away. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just give it to somebody. I, double I, it, double it. Give it to the next person. I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Eventually, <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, I mean, she just just didn't want to say a number. Yeah. Like, I feel like we're very friendly. It was not like, please, I have a gun to her head. Right. Please tell me the population here. I mean, yeah, just make up a number. I, I won't even know. You would never know. Honestly, it would have helped had I known any kind of figure because then later that night I I'm doing crowd work with someone. Hey, what part? What part of town are you from? She's like, Key West. I was like, okay, so now I'm learning there's no suburbs. Yes, it's okay. pretty much all Key West. Okay, it's just the island here. Key West only, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Had I looked at a map before this, probably would have known that. Is it a pretty big place? Yeah, I mean, it's anywhere between like 300,000 and 4 million. I'm not really sure exactly, <laughs> but I'll give you a ballpark number. It's like, oh, thank you. At least we get somewhere here. <laughs> it's like somehow that woman finds her way into the crowd. I'm doing crowd work with her. And uh, what part of town are you from? Oh, Ooh. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you were gonna ask that. I mean, our street. It's it's north. It's a of long street, Duval. though, so you wouldn't even know. Like, if I said the street, you wouldn't really understand that. Um, you know, we're ninety miles from Cuba. Oof. I don't know. Should I just say Cuba? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he was like, I mean, he was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Runners Podcast. Alright, we're back. Happy Monday. Yep. This is episode 272. 272. That's a good amount. We got uh, we got a good vibe today. Timon's in a, a graphic magic school bus hoodie, which I really like. Yeah. Thank you. Timon, we got to get him on. Uh, we got we got to get the Patreon numbers up a little bit more. We're trying to make more consistent money on the podcast. If we get the Patreon numbers up a little bit more, we, we'll get time in his own camera. I, I assume time in, you know, in his own head was like, hey, if I come into this podcast, yeah. I would do a really good job for six months. Maybe we'll get me the uh, camera. Right. That didn't do it. You're right. No. He's like, now I got to start dressing nicer. Maybe he, that'll work. He brought his own new monitor in. So maybe if we just <laughs> ice him out long enough, he'll just bring his own camera. So like, yeah, he'll just bring in all of his own gear. I mean, you own a camera, time, and You could bring it, right? <laughs> just every single time. Just pack up my camera. Yeah. Set it back up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Timer just selfies it whenever he's about to talk. To edit that in later. It's not connected to any of our systems. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, and uh, we got we got a guest. Uh, he's not really in the studio, but he's in the walls of the studio. I can I can kind of see the see his guest. little toe head over there. 
Yeah, we got uh, we got Bo Ellis. Bo Ellis in the living room. In the living room, hanging out on the air mattress that Jake blew up for him. Probably five minutes before we were going to get ready to get in here and get going, Catherine calls me and she's like, "Hey, uh, just woke Bo up this morning and he got sick last night and he's not feeling good. And we have our co-op to, to this morning. Can he just come? You can say no. She's like, you can say no, but can he just like come come stay with you guys? And I'm like. <laughs> I don't think I can say no. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I shouldn't say no. I don't. Whatever. Just put him in front of a screen for the next two hours, and no problem. But uh, yeah, is that how long he's going to be here? Because Rachel yeah. was like thinking about like leaving work early to oh, come hang out with Bo. <laughs> honestly, that'd be a huge thing because I don't love him being in front of the screen forever. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long. I mean, Catherine's gone until noon or more. Mm, I think so, that's when Rachel was able to get back as okay. well. Yeah, maybe twelve, twelve thirty. So yeah, he's hanging out watching Curious George, just having the time of his life. Does, uh, let's be real. I think he might be playing playing her a little you bit. You think so? Like I think I think yeah. Yesterday he obviously he got sick. Like there was visual evidence, but this morning he seemed fine. But I think he's like, wait a second, I could not go to school and hang out. I and get watch it. Curious George Air by myself. Mattress and TV if I'm sick. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hundred. Did you ever skip school? Uh, fakely. I don't think so. I think I always liked school. Good for you. Um. I'm trying to remember. I mean, there's probably mornings when I was little where I was just like, uh, not that I don't want to go to school, but my bed feels so good right now. Yeah. It's like, for some reason, just like thinking like, if I go back to sleep really hard, maybe my mom will just let me. I didn't even have an alibi. It was just like, I'll just go back to sleep. Just see what happens if, <laughs> maybe if I act like I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was my best like attempt. What about you? Yeah. I mean, it was always calculated for me because I did not like missing like classes that were important. So if anything, I was like, maybe if I like, I think I have weights first hour. What if I just get there late? Yeah. I, English, I think it's just like a steady hall day. Like I bet if I just, yeah, maybe, you know, but my, my mom was not about it. Like she was like, it, like, unless I was like actually definitely sick, no way. Um, not that she wasn't sweet, but she just was like, no, you're not sick. You can't just miss. Yeah. Um, so didn't really miss too much. Then every once in a while, I can kind of remember myself thinking like, should I be sick? Should I be sick today? Like, <laughs> it's been a while. You go look in the mirror. Like, I, I feel like you get, you know, it's kind of like snow days where you get like a few built in. Yeah. Before it's like, okay, you got to start making them up. Like, it's like, okay, I feel like I was sick like maybe four or five months ago. I could be sick today. Yeah. It's like you have one of those signs in your bedroom. It's like, you know, 270 days since last right. nonsense. Since yeah. last, uh, you know, what do they do? Um, whatever mishap. Since last puke. Since yes. last bomb. You're like, I right. deserve one. It's like, it's like, should I fight through this? Nah, I'm just going to feel bad today, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, but I did not like making up because I'm not very good at teaching myself, uh, like in school, like going back to mm. the book and trying to learn, especially math. Ma I was so like, anytime I didn't really understand the concept, I had to go back to the math book and look at it and try to be like, what, what's going on? Yeah. I that doesn't seem like the way to learn math. That sounds brutal. Right. I have to just get yeah, reverse engineer from a textbook. Yeah. If they give me like a very similar example problem sure i can figure out the patterns but if it's like here's the main general concept figure it out for these 25 problems odds that weren't even in the back of the book you know <laughs> odds uh speaking of your mom it was good to hear from her yesterday we called uh maybe two days ago we were trying to call your dad for the uh, sports football podcast also yep. quarterback available exclusively on patreon.com yep um went to call your dad and you dialed your mom's number yeah so we got to talk to both yeah it was fun it was fun. Got a double dose of the Ellis parents there. Yeah, your mom's a a, a fun fun gal. She's, she's a hoot, man. Yeah, she's definitely the the funnier of the 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 couple of them, but also the one that like would if I asked her, I think she'd say, "Yeah, sure, I'll I'll come and interview with you guys," but I don't think she has a strong desire to like. Really, she's just. I feel like that's probably how your mom is too, right? Like, mm. like it's like, yeah, of course I'll talk to somebody if they want me to, but they're they're very content just. Being being there with their husbands and yeah. letting their husbands, you know, be the talkative ones. So. Ephesians five, that's right. That's <laughs> what it talks about. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. This week, I I was in Florida and came back. Mm -hmm. Where were you? Uh, Kansas and it didn't come back because I never left. <laughs> and so. Don't come back. <laughs> Time and where were you? Probably went to Missouri at one point. Also Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. yeah. Missouri. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, definitely. People not That's from Kansas City have such a hard time conceptualizing, like, is it Kansas City kind of near Missouri? And it's like, no, it's like, it's true. Like, the city is split. Like, yeah. I go back and forth every day. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
really? It's like, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. There's <laughs> Very a easy. lot of people on both. You're right. A lot of businesses on both. Like how many people on both do you think? Like what what population in Missouri? Mm. What population in Kansas? I'm trying to think. When there was the Royals parade, I know there was like mm-hmm. I'm trying to think how much bigger it is in Stratford, which Stratford had I don't had two stoplights uh, there and there's like how many stop? Well, figure out, the, figure out the people first and then figure out the stoplights. <laughs> and are there more windows or doors in the world? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting off track. I Honestly, I can't even say. I don't know. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll ask you later in, in the crowd. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Just, just not even to say a number. After, it, it'd be one thing to be like, oh, I have no idea. And it's like, okay. <laughs> like, if you immediately answer that way, fine. But if you're like, let me, let me calculate on. this out for about 45 seconds <laughs> to where, like, the like. Basically, 10 seconds in, you're like, I regret asking you at all. <laughs> and then 45 seconds later, you're like, you know what? I'm not even going to give you an estimate. That could be a thing. Maybe we come back next week with like a list of these. But Rachel and I were trying to talk recently about like, like f- people love Timon's age, love to talk about icks, right? Like you get mm. the ick for a girl, for a guy. I would, I would see people talk about like a friendship <laughs> ick. So maybe we should like friendship. think to friendship. Friendships. Friendships. Yeah. Uh, so maybe that's one. Like you ask a very easy question, and they like treat it like it's the million dollar question on who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> who can I call my dad and yeah. ask him? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, yeah, what I was like when I was six. Like, oh, okay. I okay. just thought it'd be like a fun, like I was outgoing. Yeah, answer. yeah. <laughs> uh, I was really shy. I hung, I clung to my mom's leg the whole time. <laughs> cool. First, all first day of kindergarten. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Me too. Let's talk about that more. Like, let's go into that. Like, let's not. Oh man, what was I? Do you guys eat out often? Ooh. Well. Okay, let me look Used up. To, uh, well, let me I look up WebsterDictionary.com <laughs> definition of often. <laughs> I feel like I can tend to be that way. Like, I, yeah, honestly, I think me and Brad both are also that way too. We get. I, I have tendencies of that. Catherine definitely does, where she's like, "Well, I mean, technically, it wasn't that." Well, just, I feel like I have to give the right. I want to give a good answer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't just like say the first thing because I'm like, "Well, that not that might not be exactly what they're looking for." And and you got to find a balance because I think if you literally are just like. Uh, you know, what were you like as a six-year-old? And you're like, shy. I was pretty shy. Good conversation. <laughs> like, nice. Like, it is yeah. nice to, like, explain it a little bit more. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, black and white, shy or outgoing. It can be like, I was shy, but, you know, I had this tendency. And I remember when I had, you know, whatever. Like, that's, I think that's, that's conversation. That's my flaw is elongating the answer too much. Like, right. I, I, I am giving them an answer, but I, I gave them way more than they probably needed. Yes. Just I like, feel that too sometimes. Yeah. But um, uh, one of the French checks that I was thinking of recently is when someone, instead of saying, like, just their car or I'm going to go hop in the car, when they, like, say the, like, brand name of their car, okay. like, oh, okay, well, I'll just have my wife pull up the Mercedes then. <laughs> okay, we'll Does just... Does it have um, to be, like, a, a nice car? I think it usually is, too. Like, okay, yeah. we'll go grab the, uh, we'll grab the Lexus then and okay. we'll just meet you guys there. Let's, let's take the Tahoe. Uh-huh. I think we should take the Tahoe tonight. It's like, all right. Yeah. You're, you're never doing like, hey, let's take the Hyundai. Like, <laughs> yeah, no one yeah. says that, you know? <laughs> hey, I think we should just take the, uh, uh, you know, 2004 Kia. Stratus. Yeah. I'll get the Stratus. I'll meet you Go in the Stratus. To 2014 Town and Country. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you say the year. Dude, yeah. uh, Bo was shook. And I, I, I don't use that word lightly. No, I, you do but, not. But Gen Z people understand. <laughs> Bo was shook when he saw that Mr. Timon's uh, car was a, now a truck this morning. Big red truck. Yeah. Whose truck is that? I said, it's Mr. Timon's. He doesn't drive that. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they know everything about, like, the house across the street. Anything that happens yeah. in eyesight of the window, oh, they're yeah. pretty up to date on. Mr. Timon's oh. over there. Mr. Timon's there. I'm like, yeah, I know, bud. <laughs> that is good that they're so up to date. They're kind of like, you um, know, Shia LaBeef in Disturbia when he had house arrest. Yes. So all they could do was just look at the neighbors. Uh-huh. That's what your kids are doing. <laughs> right. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. They would have binoculars if they could. Yeah. I need to find a a, a nice young Asian to be some comedic relief. Oh, yeah. Ronnie. Yeah. Good. Ronnie. Good memory. Dude, I love that movie. (laughs) It was good. Had it on DVD. You ever seen it, Timon? Uh, No. Pretty fun. Disturbia. 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 Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf gets uh, on house arrest because he punches a kid in school. Yeah. Spoiler alert. The first five minutes. Yeah. (laughs) He sauce. Um, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, great scene. Yeah, and so he punches a kid, has to be on house arrest for a while. While on house arrest, he notices some pretty shady things in the neighborhood. Some interesting hijinks going on. I don't think that guy should be doing that <laughs> late at night. 
how'd he fix his car so fast? Also, it works out he has quite the bedroom. I mean, he okay. can see all four, I mean, 360 degree. He's got we a got New windows. York City loft in his bedroom. <laughs> yeah, so that worked out. <laughs> yeah. um, also, I have to be neighbors with a girl who at the time I thought was Blake Lively. Turns out, not Blake Lively. Did not end up having the career that Blake Lively had. But practically the same but, back then. Yeah. A same on hair. Yeah. yeah. Um, Babe. Babe alert. <laughs> Watch it with a friend. Watch it with Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it with a friend. <laughs> what, what is that? What is that? Implied? Accountability. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't, I thought it was like. Don't be, don't, be, don't be rewinding that scene too many times. <laughs> I thought it was like, in case maybe you're on the fence, your friend will be there like, yeah, she be is like, hot. Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Watch it with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> yeah. They'll tell you. Have all your bros over. Watch it with your dad. <laughs> He'll tell you. You can watch it with your dad. It's not that inappropriate. It's PG-13. <laughs> no. Yeah, I remember, like, at the time, it was, like, maybe it was just the age I was at. I think we were middle of high school, maybe late high school, and it was, like, this is the first, like, thrill, good thriller I've ever seen. Yeah. Because it, it wasn't a horror movie. It's I, I, don't, want th- I don't want horror, but I, I would love thrill. Yeah. Give me thrill. I, mm-hmm. I'll, take, I'll take one out of every five. Eh, let me think. One out of every six. Uh. <laughs> I can't answer that, but I'll take I'll, I'll take a thriller every now and then. <laughs> okay, I'm, I don't want to. I regret I bringing up fractions, but every now and then I, I don't want to commit to a number. <laughs> That's a funny character piece. Like that would be a great character for like an entire movie or, or like a long running TV show. Just a person who's just nervous to ever say a, yeah. a concrete number. Well, I don't want to like steer you the wrong way. I haven't with seen this. you since. Actually, I don't want to. I don't. It's been a while. I don't want to say it. But good to see you. Is, it has been a minute. It would be interesting to like kind of break down like, hey, are like are the accountants of the world a lot more likely? Because the accountants just deal with facts. Uh-huh. It's either they can't mess up. It's either this or this. Like, yeah, yeah. If you have this much on your tax bracket, you owe this much money, no doubt. You know, whereas like creative guys, I bet they can just throw things around, no problem. Yeah. So I wonder if like the accountants of the world, the lawyers of the world, if they're more like they have a hard time. Not giving complete facts. Yeah, committing to it. So I don't have any. I need to think of some friendship x though. I'll just think about things that annoy me about you. Perfect. You know? <laughs> like very passive aggressive. Like uh, oh, when your neighbor geez. across the street <laughs> when he owns a Tesla and you own a 2003 Chevy, <laughs> <laughs> and he says, "Let's take the Tesla." <laughs> never have I ever. Never have I will ever. Ever will <laughs> in future. Um. Anyway, uh, I had some good ranchers chicken recently. Yee. It was not bad. Huh. I'm trying to get healthier. It's like I, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> basically since two August ago, I have done a good job cutting out like added sugar. I'm still, you know, sipping on the propel. We're getting zeeved up, yada, mm-hmm. yada. But occasionally we'll toss in some sugar every now and then. I was like, all right, I need to get better again. So I was like, Rachel, let's make some good meals. So we had Brussels sprouts and chicken. I was like, don't even... I, no pasta. Yeah. I don't need those extra carbs. Sure. I was like, just give me just straight up good ranchers chicken. And? Nice. Nice, dude. It's just nice. Yeah. I uh, just picked out some seasoning from Price Chopper. Okay. Threw that on there. You Rachel did? had some other stuff. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. We went grocery shopping together. Yep. Rachel and I are just doing, we're in just a lot of just, just best friend mode right now. We're doing everything <laughs> together. We're going to watch high school volleyball. We're <laughs> grocery shopping, one-on-one pickleball. But anyway... The Good Ranchers chicken just by itself was such a good meal. Yeah, I had I had some uh, pork from them recently. Uh, it was taco skillet night, so the kids had ground beef taco skillet. But I had been waiting to eat these bratwurst <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> I kept waiting for like a good moment where I was like, I can have some buddies over for uh, Chiefs game. Mm-hmm. I haven't had them over. Yeah, and so I'm like, I'm eating these brats myself. How were they, dude? Of course. <laughs> what do you think they were? They were incredible. They were something else. They were something else. If you had to put a um, like out of a hundred, how good were they? Hundred. I'm not even. I'm not even going to play that character game on this. Hundred out of a hundred. <laughs> this that that's the thing. Like even people that aren't good with like ranking things, aren't good with numbers, they would know. Good Ranchers is an A plus. That's right. Which is a great number. You can get top notch American made uh, meat at GoodRanchers.com. Uh, it all comes from Estados Unidos. Yep. Um, all comes right here in the United States. <clears throat> and GRKC is the promo code to get $25 off your box. They've got prime pork, uh, amazing ground beef. They've got um, oh, they have something Italian they, seasoned chicken. They got wild caught seafood now. They have a holiday bundle. Oh, they have um, pumpkin flavored bacon right yeah, now? Pumpkin spiced bacon. Yeah. But then they also have this new thing, the holiday helper box. Uh, it has spiral cut ham, uh, pumpkin spice bacon, bratwurst, and sausages. Get that while they have it. Yes. 
That that's a seasonal release. Check it out. Along with yeah, the fish, the chicken, the beef, chick, you know, seafood. It's all good. So thanks for sport supporting us, uh, good ranchers. And thanks for supporting good ranchers, ghosties. Hey, thanks, ghosties. How did you have a good week? Cool. Goodranchers.com. American meat delivered. That's right. Um, Jake, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm officially a cheer dad. Tell me about it. Can <laughs> <laughs> we get TLC down here? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy oh, cheer dads. Man. No, it's like the it's like the most homeschool cheer dad move of all time. Really? So uh have you heard of Upward? Loved uh, actually no, I did not love Upward. No. I'm familiar with Upward. You've heard no, of it? No, just because I was <clears throat> I just developed a little quicker than most kids, and Upward is very much of like every it's like a communist like um basketball regime it really is everyone played the exact same amount of minutes i remember my coach was like on pen and paper like all right three two one jake go in like it was down to the second yes everyone played the exact same amount kind of a when you were like a second grader really into basketball you it, it's yeah. not great you were analyzing and like yeah trying to be like statistical and like i know what our score is even though they're not keeping yeah they're not the keeping thing. score yeah I think uh, my parents just didn't really know what it was. Like, hey, this is Christian like basketball thing. Sure, yeah. We just put Jake in that. And they're like, all right, this is probably not for Jake, but it is great for a lot of people. Yeah, so our, our church league does – our church does a basketball league for Upward. And, yeah, from what I understand, like, they have tryouts. And then they even put the the information, like, the stats of these kids into an algorithm to try to make the teams as fair as possible. And then – Whoa. Yeah, and then listen to this. And then each kid gets their own, like, color-coded armband, and they have to guard – the other person that has that armband, aka the other person on the other team that's your skill level. So communist. Yeah, very interesting. Like it's like you can't just stack the teams and whoop everybody. Um man, the armband. Kind of I'm sure that you can like suggest like, hey, I would like to be on like Jake and Brad want to be on the same team. So even though the two they're the two best players in the league, we'll put them on the same team. Mm-hmm. You know? But they have to be in different rotations, maybe, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so do they have know. any like Nah, no, I don't, I don't want to bring that up. Um, <clears throat> so they're rating these like first graders and they're like, you are a C plus first grader. I think it's very, very like, yeah, very simple. I think they literally, I think they do two or three shots and they calculate how many shots they make out of three shots Jeez. and then take how, like, how long does it take you to dribble down, you know, 10 feet with your left hand or your right hand or something. Ooh. So hope you're not having a rough day or maybe you do want to have a rough day. Maybe you want to sandbag a little bit. Yeah. So get that light pink. <laughs> wristband then you yeah. get to guard the worst player on the team all i have to say hattie did not want to play basketball okay as much as i wanted her to as much as i would love to coach her in that yeah and i'm still like holding out hope that she will eventually if not Bo, if you're out there listening bud play some basketball <laughs> um but we did convince her slash Catherine kind of just forced her like she's gonna do cheerleading at least cool and so literally we're gonna go not only have to watch first grade girls basketball games but in between we get to watch first grade girls cheerleading fun so she likes gymnastics though she likes gymnastics i think she'll be fine at cheerleading it's just yeah um i I just i I love sports for like the come or like the sportsmanship teamwork aspect of it and i don't know what that's going to be like in cheerleading but we went for the first like sign up night it doesn't start till january but you get signed up and we learned to cheer you know and i I'm already into it. Like as we were leaving, I was doing the cheer and, and he's like, dad, how do you know that cheer so fast? I was like, if I'm going to be in this thing, I'm going to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing it with you on the sidelines. Like you kind know. of mouthing it to yourself. Cause it was a W E S O M E. Awesome. Awesome. Our team is awesome. That's a good one. I was going nuts going like they're like, all right, let's see if the parents can do it louder than the kids. Ready? Oh, you bet I will. <laughs> A-W-A! <laughs> S-O-M-E! <laughs> awesome! Awesome! Our team is awesome! <laughs> let's go upward! <laughs> let's go commies! Come on, comms! <laughs> <laughs> Did any the other like parents it. get into it? Yeah, some, of the, some yeah. of like the moms were there like getting into it. Uh, the one thing that I did have, like, uh, this is like such like a group dynamic, uh, frustration with me is like, we were meeting down with all these other cheerleading people and, um, like all the kids and the moms and this one woman who like, let's just be real. Women don't have as loud of voices as men. And so it's harder for them to get the attention of a crowd. And she was doing a good job. She's like, everyone, please be quiet. Please be quiet. One, two, three eyes on me. And like, she was, she got everyone pretty quiet and she was talking, but then Every minute or less, 
she would say something that was purposely trying to elicit a cheer from people. Oh, yeah. You got to choose. Do I want their <laughs> silence or do I want them to cheer? No, especially with a bunch of people that are signing their kids up for cheerleading. Ragamuffins. Yeah. We got Miss Bethany over here. Oh! Uh, A-W-E. Be quiet. <laughs> Everyone, please. <laughs> Have some respect. <laughs> it's like <laughs> like three seconds after she was like, Wait, yeah. what if I did that? Like, give it up for Jake Triplett, Cincinnati. How we doing? Hey, 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 hey. It's a comedy show. Can I get some some respect, please? So please? you can actually hear the jokes. Can we just can we just like be be like respectful <laughs> humans for a little bit? <laughs> yeah, that's what it would be like. Right? So is that what she was doing? She was like, give it up for our assistant coach. It wasn't like that. It wasn't that extreme, but it was like, she would like, yeah, definitely be like asking as she's talking, asking for a response through cheers. And who's excited for next week's practice? Yeah. And whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, as we're talking, guys, please quiet down. This is important to hear. This is important to hear. It's like, okay, well then just, just say all the important stuff really fast. Yeah. So it was ridiculous. So. (laughs) <laughs> have you have you made any fr- other dance dad friends or dance mom friends or sorry, I was, cheer, cheer I was, dad friends? I was one of like three in there. It was all women and me. Um, so hey, I, hey, bring a friend. And it's you know the disturbia. What? One method. of the guys was like right next to me. I didn't even say a word to the guy. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> Why? Because not? I was trying to be respectful and quiet. I guess yeah. I don't know. I was just I'm so like sensitive to like if somebody's trying to talk and they're like you know because I think some people just aren't good at. Or not, not very comfortable doing that, and they're like, "I was really nervous about making this speech in front of all these people." Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, if you're ner- if whatever, I don't know if she was nervous, but I'm like, I'm going to listen and respond like f- verbally, physically, like, okay, yeah, 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 as much as I can. So I don't want to be like, "Hey, man, what's up with this thing?" You know, mm-hmm. to this guy. I think you should try and start to like plant something among the cheer parents. I'm not sure what yet, okay. but I think it could be fun. Plant some. Maybe you just plant some doubt in the leadership abilities of the coach and try to like kind of start like a a coup that you should be the coach. Well, guys can't coach for cheer. I learned. Ooh, you got to bring a friend. You got to bring Zach. Zach? I don't know. Oh, Zach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring Zach with me and maybe I could. Um, Interesting. But I will say I kind of want the the goal to be during the timeouts, you know, because there's two courts going the whole time. And so there's a little partition. And I want the people on the other side of the partition to be like, what's going on over there? Yeah, that sounds fun. Out? Like, what's, what are they doing? It's so. like everything is kind of a conspiracy theory nowadays. You can't just like accept some like good news in the world. They, then the next day on Twitter, you see something like, well, you know, they did this, right? This is the, she's a plant. Oh, he's mm-hmm. a plant or whatever. There's yeah. always, I think you start planting not any kind of specific conspiracy theory, but just kind of under your breath. Just like, yeah. You, can you believe, can you believe this? Like, well, you heard about like why they're doing it, right? Yeah, you know why they're doing these cheers in this order, right? Yeah, <laughs> think about think about the first think about the first word they say in each of these cheers. Just think about it. Get back. I mean, if you don't know, then I'm not going to tell you. But like, just think <laughs> about it. Yeah. Are you are you on? Are you on Cheer Dad Reddit? <laughs> no. Okay. Never mind. That. I, was, I was going to ask you about. Okay. Never mind. You don't do upwardcheer.org. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, don't. It's not going to work on your phone. So. <laughs> Um, what I was going to offer you, or what I was going to bring up, it, yeah, you can't, you have to do it from a computer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know why they give them lollipops right beforehand, right? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. What did I see? Dang it. I saw something on Twitter today, and I was just so tired of everything being a conspiracy theory, but whatever. I um, mean, yeah, truly, though, like, especially food these days, like... Talk to me. Food is just, no matter what, name a food, and I can tell you, like, yeah, there's, there, like, water, like water, there's there's be- good and better kinds of water. You know what I mean? I see what you're saying, yeah. Alkaline, how would we feel about it? Yeah, like like people are like having opinions on everything these days. And it, it's just it's just a little exhausting. And so I that's the nice thing about being married is I just let Catherine choose everything like that for me. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, peanut butter is peanut butter. Great. Get whatever you want. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Doesn't taste that different to me. You made those pancakes? Great. They taste good. Awesome. With the peanut butter. Dude, Rachel found some kind of bread. I I don't doubt that it's existed for over eighty years, See, but it is. You're you're getting there. The, brand new to me. What do we got? It's just honestly, I grew up on white bread and white bread alone, and so I here's the types of bread I know about: white, mm-hmm. wheat, mm-hmm. and I think some kind of halvesy, some kind of hybrid between <laughs> like honey it. wheat. Yes, honey wheat. Honey wheat was like 
the people that thought they were eating healthy, but it really it was just white bread that was brown looking. Yes. It was a Patrick Mahomes of yes. bread. Derek Jeter. Yeah. <laughs> I kid you not, I don't know any other types of bread other than that. Maybe once you tell them to me, then I'll be like... Come on, Jake, sourdough. Oh, sorry. I, I was... Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Rye. Yeah, okay, nickel. okay, okay. <laughs> Little. But even then, though, it's like, I don't know. Can you buy those in a baggie? Like, does Wonder Bread make rye? I don't know. I feel like Wonder Bread's just white white on white. See, and that's kind of what I'm saying. That's all I know. Yeah. I stay in my lane. Okay. The, the white bread, that's all I've... So, maybe this has been around for a while. You can't buy sourdough bread, like, <clears throat> I believe. I thought you needed, like, a... Like a 150 year old, like matriarch of your family to pass down a starter. Hey, Sarah Lee, how old do you think Sarah Lee is? You know, old, old lady. Yeah. She started <laughs> way back in the day. Here's what I just discovered via Rachel maple streusel bread. Okay. I didn't know we were putting flavors into bread. Oh, I thought it was brother. unhealthy, healthy bread. Oh, brother. This opened my eyes. Like we can just put flavor. Oh, yeah. Into bread. Try, try, try yourself some cinnamon streus, dude. That's probably even better. It's like a cinnamon roll. It's like a cinnamon roll in every slice. It's like like Rachel made French toast with it, which oh was my amazing. Gosh. It was amazing. But also, I don't even know if you need the French toast. I think you just, just put, <laughs> throw some butter on there, and it's basically French toast. Just toast it and put some syrup on there. <laughs> yeah, you're good. It's already. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Dude, okay. You want to get you want to get real extra? N- knock you want to go from being like, okay, I like the Hanes shirts, and now I like the Old Navy shirts, but now I'm going built. <laughs> you know, now I'm going rollback, GRKC 20. Yeah, yeah, 20% yeah. 20% yeah. off. Um, dude, look up Strawberry Hill Povatitsa bread, dude. <laughs> Povatitsa bread. I need there's a friend this, to look this up. There's with this me. place. There's this place in Kansas City, Ooh, Strawberry bread. Hill. Tizza. I guarantee you right now, Scott is listening and nodding his head vigorously. Because <laughs> Scott appreciate, dude, you buy the, How do you spell Povatitsa? I think it's P O V I T I S or Z A, maybe. <coughs> yeah, my Pova Tates. <laughs> um, but you buy, first of all, I think it's like, it's crazy expensive. Like, it's. Is it Slavic? Does that sound right? Sound Pova Tates. Come on. <laughs> Gotta be. Duh, you idiot. Well, of course. <laughs> uh, you buy, I mean, it's it's like a gift bread, but but you, you're you just bought Like, out. people can't afford to buy this on a regular basis. I think basis. it's like $25 for a loaf of this bread. Yeah, like Godiva chocolate. I've only seen it gifted. Never just seen it in someone's, like, pantry before. No, way nicer in Godiva. Like Godiva. It, oh, yeah, I was thinking it was Slavic. It's Polish, it's, though. Yeah, it's, yeah, Swiss. <laughs> I don't know. But, I don't know. Dude, and it's like, I guarantee you this thing, minimum eight pounds. Minimum. Just a... a Big old brick of lo- <laughs> loaf of bread. You ever heard of it, Timon? You ever had some? I don't think so. Dude, it's got all sorts of flavors, and it is wild. I'm looking up pictures, and whoa. What do you got? Like, tell got tell like us some flavors. Swirly layers yes, of dude. stuff. Oh, it looks like the inside of a tree. Yeah. It looks like you could see how old the bread is. Exactly. So, like, if you have a Sara Lee starter, it's, like, whoa. You know, way tighter rings on it. A lot it. of rings. Yeah. That does, anyway. like, high end. Anyway, yeah, maybe we should get them as a sponsor eventually, but for now... Just, just know that I like them. Strawberry and, Hill. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like, I feel like we've sent it to Catherine's grandma before, like as a gift, you know. <clears throat> Time for the, what for kind the of, people that have everything, you know. Time, what kind of bread you breading these days? Very basic. Same. Yeah, some, occasionally, we get this like cinnamon. It might be called cinnamon swirl bread. Yeah, I bet and that's it, good. And that's like really good. Yep, that's yeah. that's the good stuff. That's like it just needs to be toasted with butter, and it's just like, just like. A dessert, top yes. notch. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been like trying to intermittent fast most mornings, but then sometimes when the kids, when Catherine makes the kids the cinnamon streusel bread, it get once it gets in your nose, it's hard to not put it in your mouth. Like get, yeah, it's seriously though, it's so hard. So um, we use Dave's Killer Bread. You ever heard of that? Yes, it's good yeah, stuff. We've, I think we've had that before too. They they call it that I think because they employ ex convict like people from prison. Yes, exclusively. I don't know about exclusively. That'd be. <laughs> But is that actually true? Yeah. Cause I was just, when you said Dave's killer bread in my head, I was thinking, what a bad name for a bread company. I can't believe that's worked yeah, out for them. They're leaning into it. <laughs> Dave's killer. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Is yeah. it, is it Dave's bread, which is like killer or is it like <laughs> Dave's killer is making the bread double meaning <laughs> or yeah. Dave, know, Dave's killer. Yeah. Dave's not alive anymore. Yeah. 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 Dave is deceased. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dave's murderer. Dave's murdered bread. Um, speaking of treating yourself to, to pretty nice things. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, Godiva, yeah, Strawberry Hill, Lavaritza bread. What about Cozy Earth? What about it, dude? What about Cozy Earth bed sheets? What about Cozy Earth t-shirts? What about Cozy Earth joggers? What about Cozy Earth 
hoodies. Dude, you haven't even said my favorite thing I've had from Cozy Earth. What about Cozy Earth bath towels? Bath towels. <laughs> the bath towels are, we, we just got some recently and they are amazing. Yeah. I, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm definitely growing up. So I'm, I'm forming opinions about things I didn't think I was going to have. That's kind of the on. fun part about it though. But my gosh, I'd never thought that bath towels made that big of a difference until you get the Cozy Earth ones. I need to, I need to bust them open. Dude. You're never going to go back. Because right now, yeah, you're right. Right now, I'm ignorant. Right now, I am living a life of sin, and yes. I think a towel's a towel. Yep. And I, my eyes have not been opened. <laughs> a towel's a towel, Dude, guys. These towels, A, they're huge. They're like the queen size beds of of towels. That's nice. And they are thick. One side is like like more absorbent than the other. The other is like quicker drying, I think. Oh. It is something to behold. That might be nice. Rachel and I should test that. We have learned, we have very different ways of drying off. Oh yeah, like, like I think Rachel just if you're a woman, you don't have as much like hair all over your legs and your body. Sure. Yeah. So she just like will get out of the shower and just like wrap a towel around and she's like kind of just done drying off. Kind of air dried. She just like lets it like seep into the towel as she walks around. Perfect. That is not my experience drying <laughs> off in the shower at all. You're like kneading it out of your. You're like, <laughs> yeah. you're like yeah. sponging it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. And what I do to my hair. I mean, that, yeah. And that's like the inverse for women. Like, yeah, they're like, oh, I could never do that. I can't rub my head. And like, well, it's never going to dry if I don't. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, yeah, I have been really just living in cozy earth clothes recently. Yeah. Um, I have one pair of joggers and one hoodie. And I wear them a lot. Um, especially just like, I even had the thought, I'm not kidding. Uh, last week I was flying to... West Palm Beach, and it was a long travel day. It's like two hours to Atlanta, hour layover, then there are two hours to West Palm, which is a long time. And I had the thought on the plane, not realizing that I was wearing Cozy Earth, truly. Like, you kind of forget what mm -hmm. you're in. Sure. And I had the thought of, like, I feel <laughs> shockingly cozy for an airplane right now. Like, I just feel so cozy. And I was like, oh, of course, I'm wearing Cozy Earth. Really did happen. I promise. I promise. Hand on the Bible. That really did happen. So, um, yeah, their clothes are not as, like, you know, affordable, maybe as some of the clothes you're used to, to buying. But I promise, like, if you want to treat yourself, if you want to treat someone else, like, they will be so satisfied right? Uh, with their stuff. And, uh, of course, they have bed sheets, too. And, of course, it's really not that much of a splurge because you're getting 35% off. 35% off is wild. Which is crazy. Timing, uh, sorry. I just can't say enough. It's just so good. Timing, will you tell me, will you just read uh, the text that Jake Triplett sent me and tell me, tell us when it was okay, and what the text says. This says Thursday, 9.53 a.m. Cozy Earth hoodie is wild. Oh. In the in in the wild. We're not we're not on an advertisement. We're not <laughs> sponsoring anything. We're just talking life. Jake just out of nowhere. Dude, Cozy Earth hoodie is wild. I that's funny. I forgot I said that text. Yeah. Yeah, I really did. I was just like, it's, it's wild, dude. It's so good. <laughs> it's wild. So it's we we truly believe in what we're selling here. We truly think it's it's worth it. Uh, so go check them out, cozyearth.com. Hey, check them out. Check them out. Also, just saw time and text. Hair lights are off. Hair lights. If I turn mine on, will yours go on? Or is it vice versa? Yes. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Boom. Yes. 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 Oh, I got to show my hair now. <laughs> <laughs> got the hair line. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, let me tell you a little bit about um, this past week, performing. Yes, please. Get to West Palm. And uh, what do you know about West Palm? You know what? I just realized I should probably go check and make sure Bo hasn't like peed on your air mattress. Is okay. That okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, just a second. Timon, what do you know about West Palm? <laughs> um, not much. I, well, I'll, I'll tell you, it's on the east side of the state, so okay. that's always confused me. And oh, also, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far <laughs> east side of uh, Florida. I don't know why they call it West Palm, because I think there is another Palm Beach that West Palm Beach is north of. So someone just like figure out for me why it's called West Palm Beach. But nice town. When I've been there previously, it's been really fancy. I feel like I drove past a lot of nice car dealerships. I went there a couple years ago for... Actually, I don't want to say that. I'm going to bring it up later. Um, good thing Brad wasn't here. And, but I think it is a very Republican area. Interesting. And how I know this is because um, across the street from our venue mm -hmm. and also in the hotel we're staying in, there was a Trump rally going oh, wow. on so we were having a like i'm impressed we still sold like 1200 tickets and we were competing against trump in florida 
uh, at the same time on the same street. Trey's incredible. He's an incredible guy. He's an incredible guy. <laughs> Brad's back. <laughs> he's making it. He's making it big. He's got that. He's got that orange-haired guy with him. He's funny fellow. Funny fellow. <laughs> Dude, it was funny. Like just the conversations we would have in the green room of like, you know, obviously, like I've seen firsthand my friends who like had opportunities to go golf with Trump, and it's like well, I want to post the picture, and then you just get reamed in the comments. So it's like we were talking like Trey, like if Trump liked you and like wanted to hang out with you one would you go and two <clears throat> like because i think we're all on the same page like you can't post about it it's just too polarizing you can't post about it but we were like what if like you get there and you realize like you were supposed to like what would you do you were supposed to post about yeah it? like he he brought you in because he wanted you like wanted your like endorsement <laughs> like what do you do how do you navigate that we were also thinking yeah, like trey's like, like you know, he's trying to figure this out. And he's like, oh, this is stupid. Like, why are we even like entertaining this? It doesn't matter. <laughs> and then we're like, dude, I bet if we, if somehow we told someone to tell someone who knows Donald Trump, like, hey, across the street right now, there's an Oklahoma mm -hmm. clean Christian comedian. Mm -hmm. I, uh, it doesn't seem that far fetched right. that Trump would like try to bring him in and be like, hey, this is my guy. I want to like meet him. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. <laughs> The Oklahomans, they always yeah. vote red. Love the love Tulsa. Great place, Tulsa. Edmond, great place to grow, right? Great place. Thunder. Thunder. Feel the lightning and the thunder, okay? <laughs> Imagine dragons, anybody? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love two Corinthians. This guy's this guy's a great. This guy reads his Bible just like me. Two Corinthians. <laughs> Three John, right? Okay. Yeah. I I mean, I would I would say yes to hanging out with any president ever. That's I, the thing. I think you have to. Like Who I have, cares? I have opinions about which ones I like more than others, but it's the president of the United States. There's only been 38 of them. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, how time. many? Gosh. <laughs> what is it like? Oh, I don't know how many. I don't, well, I don't no, know. Well, it's... it's <laughs> Franklin's it, on the $100 bill because I know he was the 100th. He was the 100th one. So it's at least 100 and he, Lincoln was the 16th, which is why he was on the $5. Well, okay, the ratio is weird then, right? It was it's a like, multiplier. It's like, it's like Celsius to Fahrenheit kind of thing. Like sometimes they are both zero. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And then there's since. There's, there's, the, there's the penny, which we, Lincoln was also on. Which is Kelvin. Yeah, okay. That's right. Yeah. Isn't but it no. weird that Kelvin is like a measure of like warmth and like cameras, but also yeah. temperature warmth? Oh, yeah. Ever think about that? No, never. Oh, scam call. Scam call. Everybody's favorite segment, get a scam call during the podcast. Bum, bum, bum. Hello. No, no, wait for it. Hi, my name's Jacob. Uh, yes, Jacob hey. is, uh, sorry? I'm sorry. Jacob is what? He's no longer with us. Okay, just giving a number. Um, yes, it is a grave plot off of Mission and Forty Seventh. What does that mean? The phrase "no longer with us" is a common euphemism for. I could barely hear. I could. I couldn't hear you when you said that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear you. You didn't have to be rude. Thank you for your time. What you didn't hear wow. me, or I was rude. I didn't hear what you were saying, and then I didn't hear that part. I, you went in and out. Okay. And then when you, yeah. Sorry about okay. being rude when you couldn't hear me. Um, what I was saying. That's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I get it. Now, uh, okay. I just had to kind of like replay it in my head because. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> totally fine. So what's up? Have, have, um. Oh, that's okay. So I'm just gonna um, actually just take the entire file out of our system so that you don't get another phone call from us at least. Okay. Great. So you might be getting bothered. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you for your time. See ya. What a hack. Life hack. <laughs> Pretend oh you're dead. Just just kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that worked great. A little, well, a little rough patch through the middle. But, you, were, you were rude about it. Uh, well, but I, in the end, I did get my file taken out. Which maybe she killed me from a legal standpoint. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, like, like, is there going to be something on Google now that says you're dead? <laughs> Let me look it up right now. Yeah. Jacob. Jake triplet still alive. Triplet obituary. Jeez, the <laughs> autofill is Kansas City. It's already written. It's 
Yeah, I'm like seeing it being typed. Whoa, 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 who's doing this? No, no, no. <laughs> Stop. Dang. This is actually kind of sad. Just I don't want to look at other Jacob triplets who have died. So going to close out of that. That's okay. So, yeah, uh, Trump. Trump and Trey. Well, I missed the beginning. You said that they were right next to each other? Like there was a rep. Trump, uh, yeah. Trump was in Florida? Yeah, he was across the street from us doing a rally while we were performing. And also his rally was in the hotel that we were staying in. Okay. So even after the show, we um, we had a bunch of our luggage. So we're like, let's just like, um, let's like still Uber over there. And the, we couldn't get in because all the Secret Service and the cops and everything. And so it was the real deal. So we just kind of eventually like walked around this side door. And, but yeah, it was um, getting, I mean, sharing elevator rides with some interesting folks. Sure. It fired up. I mean, it's one thing to like, yeah, be more conservative. It's another thing to go to the rallies. A rally is such a like, to me anyway, it's like a, I don't know. It's an intense word. Yeah. Uh, the, the word rally just all, seems like. Well, we, you, you only rally on two, right? <laughs> I, I'm a yeah. cheer dad, so I know. <laughs> rally on two like we always do. <laughs> yeah, I guess when you put it that way, I've been known to rally. Yeah. Throw a little rally cap on. It's yeah. the bottom of the seventh. Right. Boot, rally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never. Hey, I take it back then. Never mind. Pep rallies were never just a tame event. I forgot about pep rallies, too. Love pep rallies. Yeah. Never called in sick for those days. Pep rallies, I always wanted them to be cooler than they were at Stratford anyway. Yeah. Only have so much talent, only have so many resources, and yeah. no one can dunk. I want to know what the pep rallies are like now, because our pep rallies were fun, except for our sound system was awful in the gym. Oh, that can crush a rally. And I guarantee you now, the sound systems in, you know, podunk junior high schools are just killing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just bumping speakers. Gotcha. Because that was, we were the Jaguars in yeah. uh, middle Jaguars. school. Yeah, Frontier Trail. And uh, yeah, like we played Welcome to the Jungle by... Guns N' Roses, mm -hmm. but it was just not very, not very. Sounded good. like Family Force 5, which is really distorted. <laughs> <laughs> what? Call me back. Another one? Same one? It's, it's like a new number. This is annoying. Hello? Good morning, Jacob. This is Dylan. I work in the fulfillment department here. I travel now. The reason for my call is regarding a large number of travel credit you had on file with us. Uh, and it's my job to close out expired accounts. But I really didn't feel comfortable closing out your account once I saw how much travel credit you had. Um, I mean, you obviously see yourself traveling in the future, right? I appreciate your um, kind of metric of comfortability. I do take that into effect. But can you just like remove my file yeah. so I don't ever get called again? Done, brother. Not an issue. Hey, no problem, brother. I appreciate you. Yep. <laughs> All right. So two ways to skin a cat. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Two ways to skin a telemarketer. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, make a lot of progress this morning. This is great. I hope <laughs> somebody else calls. <laughs> just get in the habit. My dad calls me. Hey, can I, uh, can you just never call me back? <laughs> uh, another scam call. Hey, dad. <laughs> can you figure out a way to just block my number? Or thanks. Right. Um, Anyway, the shows <clears throat> were yeah, fun. fun. I think it was the the West Palm show, the first show of the trip. Um, do a little crowd work. I mean, there's a, a couple older, like in their 60s probably, sitting front and center, sitting right next to each other, pretty close to each other. I wrongly assume they're married. Hey, you guys married? No, actually. Oh, so sorry. Golden what Master, is your come on. What is your relationship? And the guy goes, more fun. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Okay. I don't know what that, more fun than marriage? You know? Oh, yeah. Um, Florida, baby. So that's... I it was I was like swamp what, what kind of <laughs> swamp? <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds funny. It sounds kind of wrong. Yeah. Whoa, we got some swamp gators over here. <laughs> like I don't know what it means, guys. Don't th don't feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Um, so, but yeah, so I was making some jokes like I don't know what that means or what kind of like Florida swingers Facebook group you met. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I was like, so I don't know what your relationship is, but like, how did you guys just meet? And they go, we met online. I was like, okay, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. Like, what website was it? And, you know, I think I'm like, I'm starting to build up. Like, I'm a little nervous to ask. Yeah. But what website was it? And then that's when they say, uh, I don't want to say. Ooh. And I was like, oh, boy. And truly, like, feeling this tension of, like, what do I do? Because I kid you not, seven seats to the left of them is, like, an eight-year-old and a six-year-old. I don't know who brought an eight-year-old and a six-year-old to a show, but I could see them. And it's like... 
you know, yeah. I'm a human. I'm a good guy. It's like, I don't, do we go down this path and yeah. figure out what's going on? At the end, I am a state of <laughs> Or comedian. do you figure out where the eight and the six year old met each other? How do you guys meet? You guys met online as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so truly torn, not knowing what to do. And, uh, you know, I even said on stage, it's like, I am so, uh, I am so nervous. I don't know what to go, you know, whatever. And um, I was like, you really don't want to say. And they're like, okay, mm.com. So I was like, well, now I'm more nervous than I was before. <laughs> what in the world <laughs> M &Ms. is mm.com? And of course, in my head, I'm thinking, what kind of like crazy, what, cr what are the craziest words I can think of that are okay. mm.com? What kind of kink website is this going to be? And <clears throat> all stuff. Once again, I'm nervous. I'm like, what is it? Yeah. I guess. Come to find out, they didn't want to say because it stands for millionaire match.com. Oh. So they were being kind of humble, I guess. They're both millionaires. What? That, I didn't know this was a website. Never heard of it. Some kind of high-end matchmaking service. Whoa. Okay, Tyman, look up millionairematch.com for us. Yeah. I want to know how much you have to pay to be on millionairematch.com. Or how Oh, that, yeah, it probably how, is. How like the you, verification works or something. Yeah. 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 So that was kind of interesting. Um, I kind of like this. It's like, it's like uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. It gave me some good material, you know, because then right after that, I was like, well, I've been married for four months. My wife and I wish she met on Thousand Air Match. Um, not as exclusive, <laughs> yeah. but you find some good folks in there. <clears throat> and uh, hers was negative, but uh... <laughs> yeah, it was more of a student loan debt thing. But <laughs> she didn't get approved for a credit card, but no problem. Uh, but it was a really fun show. There's some good crowd work, and I had a bunch of friends in the audience that night, so that was always nice. Aaron Bowling, Aaron Powell yeah. was there. Her mom. Um, oh wow, mom was there. Yeah, yeah. Old KB. Yeah, she was in town. Um, Caleb Hitchcock, listener to the pod. Yep. Um, there was some, uh, there was a line of people on the lobby afterwards. The fir very first person I meet, hey, what's your name? Nice to meet you. She was, I've actually met you before. This girl's like in high school. Okay. And I knew the last time we performed in West Palm was at a comedy club, which she would not have been allowed to go to. So I was like, how Church. in the world? Exactly. Yeah. That? Yeah. I did that gig in West Palm like two years ago. I went down to family church. I was going to say, it was something like very generic. Gener uh, church, church. And, um, <laughs> Anyway, I think I may have even talked about this two years ago on the podcast, but I had a guy named Tommy who was assigned to just drive me around all weekend. Yes. He ended up becoming a ghosty. He was at the show. Oh, wow. I think he still listens. So, Tommy, shout out. That would be more fun than the show for me is seeing people like that. Yeah. You know, was, afterwards. I, were, yeah, we were cracking so many jokes. He was just like, if you need a ride tonight, you know, uh -huh. and I was like, he's like, what are you doing tomorrow? I was like, you still got your license? And uh, <laughs> Trump rally. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I'm sorry, I forget the name of the girl who I met, but she, I think she met me at family church and then became a ghost runners listener. Cool. Just like became a fan. She was wearing like a U-Haul vibe shirt underneath, was wearing a hoodie that I didn't recognize. I was like, that's cool. You made your own merch. And she's like, I got this from you guys. I was like, really? <laughs> Brad's in charge of the merch. So. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I still feel like I, do you remember making a, sh a hoodie that just says Jake Triplett with a pair of sunglasses on it? Yeah. Really? I've never seen that before. Yeah. To the point where I was like, did her mom lie to her? And I'm like, I got this from Ghost Runners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like when you get like a poster signed by somebody. It's like, no, totally. Willie Mays signed that baseball. From like, Santa. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Your body is a wonderland. John Mayer. Like, oh, seriously. He signed that. Uh, <laughs> so I really had the thought. I was like, that's such an odd. It's just, just Jake Triplett with sunglasses. <laughs> the more I thought about it, the more I was like, her mom did make that for sure. It was really hard to figure out how to make merch that just said your name on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so I did. I made like that one, the I like Jake. I came here for Jake Triplett, which I originally, I just put, I came for Jake Triplett. And I was like, let's, let's change that to here. Yeah. Um, and Cassie uh, Miles always wears that shirt. I came here for Jake Triplett. Yeah. Every yeah, time it's I see her. One. It's so fun. Um, so yeah, had a few, had a few different ones up there. Um, yeah, I, I, if it were easier to just look up like statistics, I would love to see if she's the only one that bought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be an easy way to figure out her name, Yeah, <laughs> but shout out you, whoever you are. I think your name starts with a K, like Kiera, Kies, Kesha, 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 Mill, Florida, you know, you never know. Swamp dragon. <laughs> Swamp gator. Swamp Time and what we find on mm.com. Uh, one funny thing I thought is, well, it says the world's largest millionaire dating service. So apparently there's more. <laughs> and also Congrats. it says, it says, and like the subtext, meet 5,513,608 plus high quality singles and build serious relationships. It's an exact number, it's but there's plus. an exact number plus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they said there's 5 million people in their database? It looks like it. Yeah. What? That's It's like one of those stats where you learn that like over a, like a thousand YouTubers have 10 million subscribers or whatever uh -huh. that is. It's like, how, is that possible? Yeah. I don't buy that there's 5 million people on that website. I Yeah. 
but that, that feels like hey, there's numbers that it's like yeah i don't know that's so many yeah it says two million thirty three thousand plus monthly conversations dang really okay I, now i believe them but now i question the vetting process fair it says it, it has like i think i mean i'm assuming it's a pretty i mean it can't be that intensive a like application thing but yeah it says join if you're a respective and attractive single Oh, <laughs> Join if you are a successful single making over 300000 Oh, that so makes I more sense. Not no, only net worth of a million dollars, though. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. More than likely, if you're making three hundred grand, yeah, your estate is worth a million dollars. I like the first part, just respective and attractive. I thought I was just going to end there. If you have self-respect, <laughs> come on our website. You'll love it. I would do great there. <laughs> um, inter- does it say how much it costs? Uh, it's got to cost something to weed some people out, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just, I just wonder if it's like a premium price. Yeah. I feel like to see, I would have to like create an account and I don't think I'm going to do that. So <laughs> yeah, it's do fair. it. Time, time's about to get some weird targeted ads. Yeah. He's going to be scrolling with his mom next to him. And his mom's like, what are you, what are you even looking okay, at? It's Zach over here. It was Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Google millionaire match app cost. A gold membership on millionaire, Ma- millionaire match costs $70 for a single month. Hmm. That doesn't seem too bad. 170 for three months. But it's totally worth it. Here are some perks you'll get when you upgrade to a premium membership. Ability to send messages. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, well, that's pretty good. I, that sounds like seems gold. like a, a given. Perk. A perk. <laughs> hey, a perk's a perk. A don't, yeah, a gold is, maybe is the lowest so, uh, level. <laughs> yeah, maybe. As a millionaire, gold is just another, another metal. <laughs> like, give me platinum. Give me palladium. <laughs> yeah, plutonium. Yeah, something nice. Like high value. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, that's funny. So yeah, that was the uh, the West Palm show, and um, so it was kind of fun. We, uh, uh, Trevor, we talked to say, "Where are you going next?" We say, "Key West," and everyone had a f- kind of unique reaction. They're like, "Oh, oh Key West," and it's one of those things. Like, I don't know, you know, I don't know Key West, so I, this is interesting. Who who say? Oh, the these people are like in, friends in or ghosts. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the people in the lobby. Oh wow, you're going to Key West. Um, one of the things that happened, and then we'll we'll talk about some coffee that we love, is um, that Aaron Powell was like, you have to get this key lime pie on a stick that they do in Key West. She's like, no one does it better than them. She's like, I'm trying to think of the name of it. You, it I know it's in a it's in a green house looking thing. Oh, okay. so I was giving her a hard time. Good, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, that it was yeah. like it's like all right, you're gonna find a green house. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna, there's going to be a bullfrog. He'll ask you a riddle. <laughs> you have to solve that. Go in three paces. Take a left. You know, right. kind of giving her a hard time that it's this whole riddle. Um, only paying nickels. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just their thing. There'll be a bunny rabbit That's who gives the, you your change. There's a swamp gator inside. <laughs> Not that kind, the other kind. <laughs> the Key West kind. Uh-huh. This is real. Um, so okay. that was kind of fun. So that, that lays a foundation for Key West. Okay. But for now, let's talk about Main Street Roasters. Let's talk about them. Uh, Main Street Roasters is our sponsor today, every day, every episode. They have committed to sponsoring us um, because you guys love them so much and we love them so much and they love yeah. us so much. And everybody loves everybody when it comes to Main Street Roasters coffee. That's what the, I'm reading it, right? Yeah, you, you nailed right? it perfectly. Um, <clears throat> they're just the best. Everyone loves coffee. Why not get coffee from the people that love the Ghost Runners the most? That's a good way of putting it. Right? That's a great You're way. You're going to drink coffee. Say it again. Everyone loves coffee. Why not get co- your coffee from Main Street Roasters? <laughs> <laughs> from the people that love Ghost Roasters the most. Um, How many people out there you think like Main Street Roasters? <sighs> All of them. <laughs> Every person that's ever tried it. <laughs> Thank you, Forrest. Yes. Um, yeah, Rachel brewed some up this morning. I love the smell of it when it fills our kitchen. It's a great way to start the day. Dude, uh, we are closing in on a potential YouTube deal with a, a company mm-hmm. right now and it would be formidable it'd be sweet formidable it's not something that we were expecting to get and so if we get it uh, i want to splurge on a nitro cold brew setup in my garage that's and fun. i want to make get main street roasters to make my cold brew for me that's fun i really like that i'm a big um spend instead of save kind of guy <laughs> i just like <laughs> like buying things uh-huh. but rarely do i have something in mind for like, if this were to happen, then I get this. I yeah. start doing that. That's fun. And, and it's like, yeah, I, I don't always want to do that because I think, yeah, you can definitely go down a rabbit hole of like, 
I don't know. I'll try to find something I want. It's like sometimes you don't want something that yeah. bad. But I've been talking about this nitro thing for a long time. And I go into Main Street Roasters West all the time and buy nitro. Yeah. How much better would it be to have Main Street Roasters Central? And your truck works fine. The truck works just fine. You don't fine. need a new truck yet. No, not yet. Not yet. The old Chevy. I'll, I'll pull the Chevy around. Show you. <laughs> anyway, MainStreetRoasters.com. Uh, they do offer 90% full price pricing for Ghost Runners uh, with promo code GRKC. So uh, check them out. Um, go get you them. won't regret it. It's it's that time of year again where hot coffee just, it just does different things to you. Put it in your mouth, pour it on your head. I've been really enjoying it's It's just that time of year where it's like, at least in Kansas, 55, 60 degrees, a little bit chilly in the morning. The mornings are cold. But if you have a cup of coffee outside on your deck, early morning, there's nothing like it. You're, ju- you're living right, brother. You're doing just fine. You're doing just fine. So, Hey, let me put it in a way you guys can understand. You know that cold feeling you're feeling in the morning mm-hmm. with Main Street Ro- Roasters Coffee? It's just going to take that cold. It's just going to remove its file. Give it, yeah. Telemarketer. Yeah. Give me a long sleeve tea and some Main Street Roasty. Good. GRKC. Promo code GRKC for a percentage like 90. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so Key West. So we make the um, make the long drive, not overnight in the tour bus, but during the daytime in a Sprinter van. Well, like Champagne normal. Champagne problems. It's nor- all good. Normal hoodie or a wild hoodie? Dude, I was in a wild I know hoodie. you were, brother, because <laughs> you texted me. <laughs> That's what I texted you. Oh, it was comfy. Uh-huh. So it's, I think it was like six hours or something. We stopped a couple times. Um, but yeah, going from West Palm Beach all the way down to Key West. If you're bored, if you're not driving or something right now, look where Key West is on a map. It take, You have to keep zooming in until you even see land. It looks like it's just in the middle of the ocean. Um, you have to go across a seven-mile bridge. Whoa. If you had to guess what that is, what do you think it is? What do you mean? <laughs> it's a bridge over the ocean, seven straight miles. Oh, that's... It, it's pretty on the nose. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's still cool, though. It's like, wow, we've been over the ocean for seven straight miles. That is crazy. I've never been on anything like that. So long drive, finally get to Key West, and... Um, Pretty much as soon as we get there, I mean, so Trey and some of his friends, they're there for a wedding. We're like, we'll drop them off at the hotel. Isaac and I are going to unload at the venue. Hey, just text me. Meet you guys up for lunch. About as soon as we drop them off, I'm like, Isaac, do you have any service? He's like, no. Weird. Uh, uh, I was like, I don't, yeah, I don't either. Our tour manager for the week, he doesn't have any service. And so we're like, dang, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Like, what do you mean no service? Like, just says SOS on your seriously? cell phone. So nothing... Not even a glimpse of anything working. It's like time is nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no Wi-Fi. Uh, it's just immediately causing some problems. Not a huge deal, but even just that we can't even. We don't even have like directions to get to the venue. So we're just like driving around asking people, "Do you know where the Key West Theater is?" Um, not a huge deal. We finally get there and realize, okay, even Wi-Fi doesn't work. Like something that was like terrible has happened but then again so the woman who i was talking to about the reason i was so friendly with her is because i got nothing better to do <laughs> how many people live here you need some time to take that i got time uh, t- take as much time as you need she was the one who told me she's like yeah i bet a sailboat hit a line a sailboat hit a line oh she acted like it was kind of normal yeah i guess so i think they have just have one tower for everything so if it gets hit or if a sailboat bumps in i don't know get a thicker line <laughs> <laughs> how big are these boats a sailboat yeah can we get a someone to navigate the sailboat around can we sure. get the line higher up i don't know how it works yeah if that's all it takes but it sounds like it happens all the time what and um i mean it's, it's isn't it key west like a nice a nice place i also kind of thought that i was like i mean it's florida key it's the keys and it's like way it's like kind of its own island basically like its own place i think it could be nice i think it could very much be a seaside of south florida but it is not the case it is more of like a new orleans of south florida in what way like one big street with a ton of bars, a uh, lot of drag, a lot of okay. day drinking. I think they have like an open liquor policy, you know, like you need to be walking around. Um, so yeah, just a little little trashier than I was expecting it to be. Is it is it pretty much only tourists, you feel like? Or like that kind of vibe? Honestly, that's what I was kind of looking to gather from that woman. I was like, dude, like how many people <laughs> like live here? And so I don't know. Okay, now <laughs> I, I have a little bit more forgiveness for the woman because now I know that she could not look it up on her phone. <laughs> like, 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 she yeah, like, she, I don't know. I think before <laughs> yeah. that, she'd probably told me like, yeah, I've been here 30 years or something like that. That right. led me to think like yeah. she would know the answer to this anyway. So it is so far out there. It's crazy. I mean, it's practically not in the United States. It's practically Cuba. It's 90 miles from Cuba. 
It looks, yeah, it looks almost as close to Cuba as it is to Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, or the Bahamas, too, is right there. So, oh. yeah, it's kind of a Caribbean vibe to it a little bit. And so immediately we're like, all right, meeting up with Trey and his friends is not going to happen. But I got Isaac. I had a, honestly had a great amount of time with Isaac this whole week. It was Lucky. fun. Isaac and I been spending a lot of time together. Love it. But um, so it was kind of fun, though. Like, imagine being in a city you've never been in, and it's kind of an eclectic city anyway, and you have no service. You have no information about the city. The one person who's lived here 30 years doesn't know a darn thing about it. <laughs> so you're like, let's just walk around. Yeah. And so we did. We just walked around. And uh, it was kind of, in a way, it was kind of like Michael uh, trying to find, um, no, Holly and Dwight trying to find Michael. Yeah. Just like weird clues you're picking up on. <laughs> like, we're looking for lunch. We're like following our nose. Like, is, <laughs> does that smell like Mexican over there? Is that a beignet? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> we go left. I mean, we're picking up like, you know, those like little plastic, they're like bright yellow or bright blue things on the sidewalk that have maybe like a newspaper in them or like yeah. a yeah. pamphlet. Like little things that fold out. Yeah, yeah you just take them. one for uh-huh. free. We're taking those. Maybe there's a map on there. <laughs> we're like grabbing these things. Like, let's look. Like, we're just like such tourists, like looking around. I love it, dude. Just me and Isaac just walking. And it's like 88 degrees. Heat index is 100. It's hot. Yeah. And just walking around Florida, just having no idea where we are, what this town is, where lunch is. Are credit cards going to work? Probably not. Good thing I have cash. But yeah, just really fun walking around. Wow. Um, but it, it was really funny because I was like, oh my gosh, I was giving Aaron a hard time about like, all right, you're going to want to find the greenhouse. Yes. It truly, it became that. I was like, can we find the greenhouse? There's got to be one around here. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah. you guys know a greenhouse? Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're we looking at maps. We get to this uh, lunch spot and we walk in and a guy is reading the newspaper. It's like, oh, wow, this whole town has just reverted 40 years in history. There's immediately like, yep, it's the 80s now. Yep, sailboat hit a line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what happened here. But honestly, okay. I was jealous. It's like, where do you get, I would love to read a newspaper right now. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Didn't know they still printed them. Catch up on the sports page. Um, <laughs> see it was our fantasy football scores. How bored Talk you get it. so quickly. You know, Isaac and I are still talking, but like I found myself at lunch, like my my glass of ice water was like sweating. And so it created a bunch of water on the table. And I was <laughs> blowing the water around uh-huh. just to see how it would glide across the table. <laughs> <laughs> just like making like a little, like the snake with your straw. Remember that back in the day? Like you like, you like, like a scrunch up the straw and then put it in the water. Yeah. I'm doing the thing where you hold the top of the straw and like, sure. Yeah. 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 Put it in my mouth that way. It was, it was wild. It was not having power or, you know, sorry, we had electricity, no service, no Wi-Fi for like five hours. Dude, that's kind of like sometimes I do that on planes where I forget to download a Netflix show or something. Ah. So I'm like, I mean, I'm still addicted to my phone. Let's see but if I have like, any games. What do I? Ha- so I'll just go and look at photos, old pictures. Yeah. yeah. So did you find yourself still pulling out your phone? I well, uh, and then be like, no, don't do this. What did we? There was a reason Isaac and I were looking at our phones. And I don't remember it, but um, honestly, we were at lunch and we were thinking about it, like if this doesn't get resolved in time, we probably can't do the show tonight. Just because I'm sure most people's tickets are on their phone. They can't right. pull those up. Um, Isaac's like, yeah, I won't be able to like swipe any credit cards. And then it dawned on us, like, dude, if this doesn't get resolved by Showtime, we can't watch the Chiefs game. Oh, Because it was a Thursday night game. And yeah. then we really started to panic. Like, let's go work on that tower. Yeah. Uh, let's go figure it out. <laughs> Give me a boat. I'll get out there. <laughs> I, you did it every day in the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah. Let me, I'll block boats from hitting the tower right. until 820 Eastern. Wow. So we got really nervous once we realized, oh, wow, the Chiefs game is in jeopardy. But so when did it come back? It came back at probably like 5 p.m. or so. And so it was fine. So when did it start? Like uh, I think we got there at morning? like one okay. noon, maybe somewhere in there. So just uh, kind of a fun day, just a little different day, <laughs> just real sweaty and real just uh, old school. Dude, I heard about this and I just looked it up real quick. Um, have you heard about silent walking? It's like trend? dude, it's a TikTok. Tr- yeah, it's walking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talk, it's, t- talk about it. Describe it first. Describe it first. It's literally just like hey, like for your mental health, just go on a walk. And don't like have your cell phone, don't have any headphones in, don't listen to music. I'm trying just to think, go on a silent walk. I'm trying to think where I've heard this before. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Every one of my kids does it every single day of their lives. <laughs> How about every person who walked to get somewhere before 1999? <laughs> silent walking. It was just like, yeah, like it's good for your mental health. No dip. <laughs> of course it is. Less, less phones, the better. I mean, I'm not one to act like I'm not on my phone a lot, but like. My gosh, it's so funny. It's like, it's like, I don't even know how to get anywhere without my phone. I don't know how yeah. to, you know, I can't pay for anything without my phone. It, I don't, it was bad. Yeah. Dude, TikTok trends are going to become just like basic, like human needs. TikTok trend. Talk to your parents. Yeah. Check in on your friends. Heat up your raw meat before you eat it. <laughs> Heat up your good ranchers. TikTok trend. 
Um, boil water if it's uh, gross. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we do these things called elongated naps, um, <laughs> where every single night uh, around ten o'clock we we sleep for we take we, we take f- four two hour naps just consecutively, back so, to back to back. Mm-hmm. So it's a, we call it an elongated nap. That's a fun. That's a fun. So TikTok it's great trend. for your mental health. It's amazing the difference that it will make <laughs> for your anxiety. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to start this TikTok trend. It's mm-hmm. called uh, tr- tripa eating. Tripa eating. It's where you eat three meals in one day. Tri- yep. Mm-hmm. Tripa eating. So I don't know. It's just something that Check I think would take off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing this thing where I'm calling it. Um, dang it. I don't, can't think of what I was calling it. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> it was going to be exercise, but just like uh, figure out a way to call it something else. Uh, it's called elongated um, high heart rate. <laughs> heart rate. Heart rate. <laughs> um, yeah. Dude, this is great. I posted um, posted my first stand up clip in a long time to uh, uh, to my Instagram this morning. Yeah, and without fail, the comments are just like, oh, "This guy hates Georgia." Oh, really? Already been there. The comment that's really fired me up that I see right now is, "Wow, no Arizona. We have great golf courses. We were there nine days ago. We were in Tuscan. Yeah, yeah, just did Tuscany and uh, Phoenix. <laughs> did you see Desmond Howard? No, what? We'll talk about an all-time quarterback. Okay, great. It's a little, it's a little racy for for. Uh, Interesting. He did it on College Game Day though. Okay. There's a, you said Phoenix and there's a there's a Washington quarterback named with a crazy Phoenix. name. Oh. Anyway, cool. All-time quarterback. Let me go. Let me go check on Bo again because I just don't want to wet all over your wet all over all over your stuff. Yeah, is he not gone? No. You want to do a trike ad without yep, me? You that's can? exactly what I'm thinking. Try, try! <laughs> Hi, <buddy. laughs> um, Okay. So yeah, we talk about major roasters, but when it comes to Chike, this is uh, by far, as far as the entire industry, the entire market goes, this is the place to find naturally sweetened protein coffee. Uh, a lot of ways you can make it, a lot of ways you could prepare it. First thing in the morning, a little afternoon pick-me-up. Um, Chike is the greatest. Uh, every, oh, hey, Bo. Every, um, <laughs> Bo looks cozy. Um uh, Every serving has got 20 grams of non-GMO protein and two shots of espresso, um, but it's naturally sweetened with Reb M and organic cane sugar. Uh, they've got a bunch of options right now for if you're kind of fired up on this naturally sweetened protein coffee. Uh, they have natural vanilla latte, natural cafe mocha. Um, what was the, the Toby Mac thing? Um, Cafe, uh, Cafe Ule, Ule Latte Da. Latte da. <laughs> yeah, uh, they don't have that. But a natural uh, caramel macchiato and then natural vanilla latte, high protein, iced coffee. And if you can't decide, like always, they've got a sampler pack. If you want to get a little bit of all of them, the natural sampler pack, um, get it while you can. Chike Protein Iced Coffee. It's C H I K E dot com. Um, the code is Ghost Runners. It's not GRKC here, it's Ghost Runners. So uh, yeah, go get them. Code Ghost Runners, Chike.com. Uh, it really is the best. I mean, people can't get enough of it. This might be the product that I feel like Ghosties buy more often, more often than anything else. Uh, and so I feel like that is uh, that speaks for itself. People can't get enough of it. Um, so um, sweeten the moment. Get yourself a little natural, naturally sweetened protein iced coffee with Chike Chike. Can cool, I, cool. Can I give my best Chike Chike? Yeah, yeah. Get it, Timon. <clears throat> Chike, chike! <laughs> yes, dude. That's great. Time yeah. Yeah, Tyman. That was great. People are going to love that. Bo, Bo jumped a little bit when he did that. Did he? Yeah, that Sorry, Bo. <laughs> He's so entranced with Curious George, man. Really? Yeah. How was his pee? It's amazing. Like, he did it. He went, but he didn't go very much. But I just, that little amount that if he were doing that in his pants, it was it would seem so enormous. Really? Uh, yeah. It's crazy. Like, Imagine, like, I don't have barely anything left in here, but if I poured it out on this table right now, or if I poured it on my shorts, it would seem like so much. Yeah, that is fun. So. Yeah, that's nice. But he's doing great. He's having the time of his life. Ooh, I just checked uh, Schmores from last Wednesday. Oh, what'd you say? You can't turn it back on? Okay, I'll help you. Just a second, buddy. What's the, what's the score? Uh, I'm doing all right. You're, you're back to last place. Awesome. That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> we got... Uh, I need to look at this. Yeah, Robin Hood, Mufasa, Peter Pan, Buzz Lightyear. That is good enough for dead last. <laughs> Time is in the middle. Okay. 
Genie Kronk. Wow. I really thought you would have done better. I, I, I was, I was Genie's so I solid. Yeah. And Dory, I guess. I know. I'm kind of surprised. I feel like I just chose like the comedic yeah. relief, but. Well, Olaf and Mushu and Soli's probably. People like Soli, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. What what are the percentages on them? 18 for you, 30 for time, and 52 for me. You guys. <laughs> guys. Which camera do I need to look at your time in? Guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> guys. Come on. Guys. 18. <laughs> <laughs> the camera with his eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going I'm to have to go on a silent walk after this. Yeah, me. that's good. Um, what are you going to talk about, bro? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have it, but this morning I woke, I, I slept terribly last night. Bummer. And second night in a row, I slept really weirdly bad because two nights ago, Bo came in and said he was scared of one of his stories. Like, okay, okay. Whatever that means. So he like never comes and sleeps with us, but he does. And for whatever reason, when our kids come and sleep with us, they want to snuggle up with big Papa. Yeah. And our kids kick each other in their, or kick me in their sleep. So okay. whatever. And then last night I had this weird like pain in my side to the point where I was like, I think this is what appendicitis is. And so I woke up this morning. I didn't tell you guys about this yet, but I was like, I might go to the hospital after this or something to like to get your appendix taken out. I don't know, <clears throat> but it seems like it's getting better all of a sudden. Like I feel, but like for a long time, it was just like, this is a weird thing. And I'm still like 15% on edge about it. Like hmm. maybe something's going on, but for a while it was like every time I like breathed or something, it was like this weird pain. So I don't know. I don't know. But but apparently I looked into it. And no one knows why you have an appendix. So why not get it out of there? There's got to be a reason. God don't make no mistakes. God, God don't make no junk. <coughs> no junk. <laughs> that's what Spike White used to say. <coughs> God really? don't make no junk. But anyway. Dang, that's kind of scary. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I I, I texted Gunner because Gunner had append- like his appendix taken really? out like five years ago. I was like, what did you feel? And he was like, I mean, I was throwing up a bunch and I never throw up. And I'm like, oh, wow. okay, well. I haven't gotten sick at all. Not doing that. So I don't know if I just, you know, was roughhousing too much with the kids last uh, night, you know, doing too many flips on the trampoline. Yeah. So speaking of Gunner, we, uh, he organized a little pickup football uh-huh. like he does occasionally. Uh-huh. It is unbelievable how much fun I had playing football. That's awesome. I, I can't stop thinking about it. It really? was so fun. I love pickup football. What, uh, what about it? Like, what do you get most excited about? I don't, I, is it the feeling of catching a football? Is it that? Is it like, is it running a route? I can't pinpoint it. Yeah. I love playing defense. I love playing offense. I love the guys. Yeah. I love Nick Hageman shows up. He's wearing an Iowa State quarter zip. He's playing quarterback. I mean, Brock Purdy in the flesh. Yeah, right. Calling him Brock all day. Nice. It was Had just to. so fun. It was perfect weather. It was probably like 55 degrees. Um, it's unbelievable how sore I get too, though. Because I we don't sprint anymore. No. But then for like two and a half hours, I was running, sprinting, cutting. Cutting hard. Don't do a lot of cutting right. these days. So it was so fun. It was also a great day for a solar eclipse. Were you out and about that day? <laughs> just so cloudy. It was so cloudy. <laughs> there, I mean, it was yeah. just the cloudiest day of all time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we went straight from football to then uh, truly straight from there to a tea time for Peter's birthday. So it's me, Peter, Isaac, and Harrison. Nice. And I'm out there playing golf and I'm thinking about football. Really? Yeah. I was like, man, that was fun. Yeah. I had a good time. Can't wait for the next one. What, uh, what's your best route? What's your go-to route? Oh, easy. D- Got to do like it's like fourth and ten. Mm-hmm. We have to score here. Yeah, like fourth and goal. Um, just run really hard. I'm out wide, and then just like a little chop the feet, come back right to the pylon. Okay. Yeah, works every time. I if like we need that. it, Isaac and I, we don't even have to say anything. It's just like I look at him. He's he knows the quarterback. that's what I'm running. Yeah, Isaac, Harrison, Gunner. Um, whoever. How's Harry do as I mean Harry's got an arm. He's got by far the most talent in his arm, for yeah. sure. He can sling it. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody that hurts a little bit when they throw it to you? Harrison. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. I wish you didn't throw it so hard right there. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. That's awesome. So someday ditch your kids, come play with us. I know, right? Saturday mornings is always <laughs> like and I think I think if I said to Catherine, like, hey, I'd like to do this, I know she would say, Okay, you can do that. Really? But it's like I don't know. That's like I'm that, like part of the reason is to see my kids. Part of the reason is to serve her. So I just know, I don't know. But maybe if I'm like, hey, I'll do it on Friday this week or something. You yeah, know, there you go. Kind of thing. Because it's Dadder days, not Saturdays, right? Right. Right, guys. Right. Right. Don't bring me anymore. Right. <laughs> um. So yeah, that was fun. Still sore from it. I was like in church the next day, 
and like clapping for worship. And like, I was like, my hands are sore. It's one thing like your quads, your hamstrings to be sore. It's your like, hands. It's like, I mean, weird oh, parts of yeah. my hand. Dude, I know that. That I, muscle I right know. here, like yeah. the outside of your pinky. It's just like, oh yeah, my I love that. My forearm is like yeah. sore to touch. Yep. My, my fingers feel sore. Yep. It's like, it was touch football. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. What was the best play of the day? Oh, dude, the funny. I'm glad you asked because I would have forgot to bring this up. So at one point, we've been playing for 30 minutes at this point. We realized, wait, the teams are uneven. Okay, well, oh, that's a bummer. So we, we realized the other team has one extra person than us. So Link, you know Link Strickland? Yeah. I think he listens to the podcast. He so was Link. like, I'll, okay, I'll just like stand here then because the defense had an extra <laughs> um, person. So Link is just... <laughs> Just standing here, and Link is probably like five seven. Not a not a physical presence. Sure, on defense, he's just standing there with his arms up. I yeah. mean, barely. I don't think he's looking at the quarterback. I don't think he's like paying. I think he's just in his own world, just like standing there. <laughs> he looks like a scarecrow. Nick Hagman drops back to pass and just drills him with it. On purpose? No, it just doesn't see Link. It's just like there's an open receiver across the middle, and Link just like deflects the pass, and he's like, "Well, I wasn't." <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't really meaning to break up the pass. Like, no, no, no. If he hits a guy not moving, that's his fault. <laughs> I like that. That's part of it. That was so funny. We were all like dying laughing. Just it was perfect. There was Link. It was just so funny. I like the idea of if it's if it gets too high of numbers, it's like okay, you know, like you can only pass it ten yards down the field. But five of the eight of the guys on defense have to be stationary before. Yeah, you play. it's like, like all right, twelve guys are on the team, but it's still seven on seven. Right, so you got five people, five scarecrows. Right, but but once they throw the ball and they catch the ball, they can you, you go can, tackle. You can, yeah, you can tackle the ball. That's kind of fun. Yeah, because like that freeze way freeze tag. That way you can't just run a little screen and have the guy run past. Yeah, all the it's like yeah, kind of like some dummies basically. Yeah, you have to get it around. So that's pretty funny. Link, yeah, uh, Link. Shout out to Link and Link's wife. Uh, Annie met, met Catherine the other day. Catherine really likes your wife, Link. Yeah. So shout out to you guys. Link, I randomly know your wife from like eight years ago. Yeah. yeah. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> there, but uh, she's awesome. Yeah. Annie. Right Maiden name Rumpf. Rumpf. <laughs> harumph. That's what you used to say yeah. in, in our, our uh, fraternity when we agreed. Oh, harumph. Um, so so straight to golf, though. It was a great time. We were all playing well, which is fun. I feel like none of us had played golf in a long time, and it was cold out, but we were all playing well, so it was fun. Um, at one point, it was hole two, so we don't really know. Basically, the fairway, the, the guys in front of us were like below a hill. We couldn't see it. We thought they'd already moved on because it's hole two. We, we're, we haven't been backed up up to this point. We didn't know. So Isaac hits probably a 330-yard drive. It's amazing. Straight down the middle of the fairway. Then we see them drive up. Like, oh, shoot, that was probably close to them. Um, and, of course, uh, it's some old guys, and instead of driving the cart down to us to say something, this guy just makes this long, slow walk. Oh, It was like a, a coach coming out to like do a, a mound visit. <laughs> and I was like, you can't do this any quicker. Yeah. You know, you know all the eyes are on you. You're yeah, just like yeah, yeah. cheesing it up. So he makes this long, slow walk to us and kind of just like lets us know that we almost hit him, which is fair. We very much apologize. He's wearing a Air Force you know, veterans, you know, hat on. I want to show him as much respect as possible. Like, we're so sorry we didn't see you. Won't happen again. He's like, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. All right. And then comes over and grabs my arm. He's like, all right, you guys have a good one. <laughs> didn't like it. Didn't love it. Didn't like it. But didn't say anything. Okay. It was so funny. It was just like, we've already, like, we're like probably five feet away from each other. Hey, no, I get it. Sorry, sorry. We, we won't make that mistake it's, again. It's always you, too. Oh, why was it me? I didn't it's even hit it. It was you. Isaac. Why yeah. am I apologizing so much? I didn't even do it. I, but I'm like, hey, let me go meet this guy. You know, whatever. Yeah. Hey, we're so sorry. And yeah, it was just weird. Just like, you know, oh, you're coming. Let me just like try it. Like, it was probably this far apart. Like, just uh, so just make sure you guys um, look out for us the rest of the day. Yeah, right? absolutely. I'm so seriously so sorry. It won't happen again. Yeah, sir. you just got a little close to my buddy back I there. I understand. And you know what? Uh, people got close to you in World War II, and you <laughs> shot them down. So I appreciate that. And that's right. I did. Mm -hmm. That's right. So let's hey, yeah. let's just have a good day on the course, huh? Absolutely, we will. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let's have a good one. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Thank you. You like, too. Why do you do that? <laughs> Was that supposed to like, like impose a threat? No, I think, I think, I don't, I don't know. I didn't see the guy. <laughs> to me, I, I would love it. I'd, I'd do it right back. <laughs> I'm a physical touch guy. Yeah. All day, I would have hugged him. Hey, 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 bring it for the real thing, brother. <laughs> Come on. Who needs a bicep when you can get the whole back? Sigma pi, brother. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they say. Sigma, they say sigma pi. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pi phi. Mm -hmm. 
That's pretty funny. Yeah, just uh, golf etiquette is just interesting to me. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, that one's obvious to an extent, Like, but you didn't know it. In- yeah, it was true. I mean, he, he knew he was in a blind spot. He was like, yeah, I think you couldn't see us. But yeah, we, yeah, we didn't know. But yeah. <laughs> as, you're, as you're talking, like some other ball just comes right past <laughs> you. <laughs> Starts getting flashbacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's a fun day. Good day for sports and the eclipse. And I think I'm going to talk about a really, really fun date that Rachel took me on. In the Wednesday episode. Ooh, fun. How about that? Uh, let me tell you, I love that. I, I heard previews of it beforehand. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was a big Saturday. Um, I did re- remember one other uh, story from my Saturday morning, Saturday. I took the kids to Chick-fil-A. First of all, I don't. Th- I think we got there a little bit later, but still, it's never been this busy ever. Oh, really? Like, the only other time it was this busy is when you and Rachel came F-12. with us. Uh, oh, no, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the week of VBS or something like that, and it was just madhouse. Uh, literally we were at the only table available when we got there. Like, um, and so, you know, after we get done with our breakfast, kids want to go play in the play place. Sure. No problem. Of course. It kills more time. Um, they love it there. And so we go in there, but I took our drinks in there because they love, I always get them orange juice, quote unquote, but I always order waters and then pour the orange juice in there. So it's like half orange juice, half water, but they think it's liquid gold. And so I'm like, I'm not gonna throw this away, but I can't keep the cups on the table because there's not there's people waiting for tables here, and so we go into the um, play place and there's a little bench you know where you can sit and you know little cubbies underneath to put your shoes and all that stuff, and so I place all three of the cups on the bench, and I'm like I got to be careful I don't want to spill these cups whatever, and then I sit down on the bench and it was one of those benches that was like upholstered you know it was like a foam bench with yeah. like an upholstered like plastic yeah. on top. And there was a little bit of air in between. Oh, a little blob. And so I blobbed all three of those drinks <laughs> right off of there. <laughs> Luckily, only one of them actually, like, like the lid came off of them. Did they just, like, go straight up and back down? No, they, they all fell over. I okay. Think. But only one of them came out. But, it, I mean, and I think it was, just, it was only the water one. It was my drink. Um, but, you know, Chick-fil-A, I, I also asked for, like, a ton of ice. So that we didn't have to like, yeah. so I always just drink a bunch of the water from all the kids' drinks before I put the orange juice in. <laughs> so like, I don't want to drink a bunch. of So anyway, but it was tons of ice and it was crazy because like my kids were trying to run around. I was trying to clean up this stuff and it's so hard to just like scoop up ice with your hands. There were so many, like the workers were going crazy. So I didn't want to like inconvenience them by asking them. So literally I probably took seven or eight trips of just handfuls of ice from the play place, <laughs> threw it into the trash can outside That's over so and many over trips. and over. Dude, it, it was crazy. It was like, it was a lot of ice, but it was just really hard to like scoop up because the, the play place has like that, like kind of plasticky floor. Yeah. Scooping ice when it was it's almost yeah. absorbing it in there, <laughs> but the ice was kind of melting and there was one other dad in there. If there wasn't another dad in there, I was, I would have, I was, I had the thought to myself of like. I think if I just if I just let this thing melt, it'll it'll go away. It's water. I can just you know s- you know scrape it over to the side. No one would be the wiser. But there's another dad. I was like, I can't do that. So yeah, a little biff. Let that be a lesson. Always yeah. act like another dad's. In, always in act your room. and always remember the blob on on the uh, yeah Chick Fil A bench. So. Maybe we should blob Bo in the air mattress right now. Let a little air out. That would be amazing. Jump on one side of it. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, I've not really like figured out. I've never like gotten too rough with Bo yet. And I've gotten rough with him is my point. Like I've, I've tested his threshold so many times and he just has never been like, that hurts. I don't <laughs> want you to do that. That's too much. So I don't know. And get a little blob. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see if, if he hits his head on the floor, maybe he'll make, make a difference. <laughs> Ow, dad. Yeah. Oh, dad. That one, that hurt my head. <laughs> I think I need to watch more Curious Stories. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, wrap this sucker up. What do you think? this sucker up. Cool. Um, let's do our review. Oh, Timon, you were saying something? Go ahead, Time. Uh, yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay. it's okay. Just go, well, nah. the, you weren't going to say the thing about Maisie? <laughs> you were, you were the thing you were all, saying earlier? You were talking about leg off before we started recording? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. All right. Well, I guess maybe it's different. Just was it, it not Maisie? It, it was definitely Maisie. I thought it was definitely Maisie, right? <laughs> he said uh, it was... No, it was Maisie. Yeah, it yeah. was Maisie. Okay. Yeah. Because you said crazy Maisie? <laughs> right? I don't want to. She, she listens. I, I was <laughs> <laughs> crazy Maisie. Crazy Maisie. Uh, let's do our reviews of the week. 
Brad, do you want to do the fun, unique one? Uh, which one's that? I'll do it. This okay. is from Oliver. Uh, says this is a one star review. I'm tired of him. I don't want to do it. Don't do the don't do the one star reviews, guys. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I yeah. Um, I thought this was a, a unique idea, though. I just started listening to this podcast a few months ago, and I love it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yes, w- wait. You're wrong. It's the wrong one. Idiot, Oliver. I'll go ahead and go. Mine's from Serial Killer. Oliver, AKA give us. I love cereal. A one star review. Oliver, give us five stars. That's what I meant to say. My review of the week <laughs> is a is a ask. It was a request. <laughs> Serial Killer, aka I Love Serial. Read this before listening. One star review. If you've just found this podcast, you might be looking to reviews for some feedback. And if you're like me, you might check the lowest ratings first just to see what people have been saying who aren't swayed by the high shine of glamour around the five star reviews. Absolutely, I do this with every podcast. Yeah. It's so fun to listen to that or read the negative ones. Well, I'm here to save you any trouble and give you the real lowdown in this quote talk show. It's, and then five spaces. Dot, down. dot, 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 dot. It is freaking awesome. Not only do Jake Brad and producer Time and bring a refreshing level of genuineness and transparency, but they have managed to cultivate and grow one of the most positive and uplifting communities spanning nations, time zones, and social statuses. There are not many other line. Other online communities that can bring 200 total strangers to a weekend get together and leave people with more friends made in less amount of time than inviting a dozen toddlers to free ice cream play dates. These guys are hilarious, bring such uplifting levity to your day, and not to mention some very tight beats, not to be confused with the subpar sick beat from a certain pop singer. I don't get that, Timon. What's Taylor that Swift. Mean? From this sick oh my gosh. beat. <laughs> all in all, consider this your sign to listen to the greatest talk show ever and welcome yourself to your new closest friends you've never had. Give it a matter of months and you'll be planning your vacation days around the Ghost Runners calendar, laughing to yourself in your car and making inside joke comments to your friends and family, leaving them in a particularly bewildered state of confused amusement. Confusement. Stop reading reviews. Go listen to this week's episode, then listen to last week's, then the week before that. After three weeks, start from the beginning. <laughs> That's a good formula. You know? Yeah. Enjoy and never forget to eat the feet. I mean, get on your hot dog. Ah, you'll, you'll figure it out. P.S. Sitting down to pee is underrated. Funny you mentioned that. Harrison told me while golfing that he is sitting down to pee now 90% of the time. Dude. 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 That's crazy. I 90% is wild. I, I'm there like 7% of the time. Dude. Yeah. And it's nice when I do. Listen, my only justification for Harrison is that he's a corporate guy. You know, he's he's going on somebody else's time. <laughs> and he's like, I'll sit down and stay here a while every time. But besides that, Harrison, get out of here. 90%. That's too many percent. That's what he said. Um, I like that serial person, serial killer. I think that one's okay to stay. I think that's still a net positive ROI because someone is going to look for our bad reviews. On the net, it was a positive. But, <laughs> hey, Oliver, anyone else, don't leave one star reviews because overall we <laughs> want the average yeah. to still be really, really it's strong. It's really cool to say we have a 5.0 average, which is wild. Yeah. Um, I am going to, my review of the week, uh, this works perfect because it's something you were going to talk about anyway, Brad. The title says, may start my own business just to have you guys sponsor me. Uh, Five-star review. I just stopped listening to the podcast to write this review as I am laughing out loud. The way you guys promote your sponsors is amazing and hilarious. I've already tried several times and love them all. Uh, Several items. That's my bad. Also, thank you guys for being such positive role models and sharing your lives with us. I always look forward to listening on Mondays and Wednesdays. If I ever decide to start my own business, you guys will be the first people I call to promote it. Blessings to you and your families. Shannon. Thanks, Shandog. Shandog. Tell me the idea. Millionaire. Um, the idea is, if you guys are fans of the uh, All-Time Quarterback podcast... Uh, formerly Team Spirit. Formerly Team Spirit. Um, we were thinking we would like to have sponsors on there that can't afford slash aren't big enough to actually sponsor for real. Uh, but have businesses, have things they would like to promote uh, and just sponsor them via the All-Time Quarterback podcast for free. So if you're out there, if you're a ghosty, if you're running a side business, side hustle, Jake and I have been there. Jake and I are still there in so many ways. And we want to appreciate and respect those people uh, and give them a little bit of shine. So obviously, All-Time Quarterback uh, listenership is not nearly the uh, juggernaut that Ghost Runners is. Um, but the people that listen are loyal listeners Um loyal supporters of ours and we'd love to yeah get your name out there so if you're out there send us a instagram message or a email to the ghost runners podcast at gmail.com yeah or find us on the street yeah. old school key west style find us on the street would be awesome too uh brad would you like to end this up with the jingle dude hey, i hey, hey. i in my head last <laughs> night you know how like when you can't sleep very well yeah kids are kicking you kids are kicking you or whatever like <laughs> like you have like weird like 
thoughts that you think are great thoughts that aren't really that good. Oh, great. totally. Like I, ha- I don't remember what it was now, but I had like a, I made up a jingle for Ghost Runners in the middle of the night. Yeah, to <laughs> to a song, like it was a parody song. I can't remember it now. So we're just gonna do the one that Timon um, was singing earlier. Okay. So you want to sing it? I'll just sing back. You could have been getting down to this sick, sick beat. beat. My, there you my go. My man Timon <laughs> told his friend Jake and Brad this. <laughs> <laughs> It's every Monday <laughs> and also Wednesday. Got ghost runners on my brain. Mm-mm. Ghost runners on my brain. Mm-mm. It's with Brad and Jake. Brad uh. and Jake. It's what the people take. That's what people say. Mm-mm. That's what people say. We got three cameras, maybe four cameras. Eventually, yeah. if you will support us, support us on Patreon. Because uh. Tyler <laughs> is a good looking man now, and we want to show him off with his face. So just get on Patreon for five or ten or fifteen dollars a month. Dun, 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 dun. I wasn't thinking next, so I don't know. <laughs> well, So yeah, the main camera is like fully tilted now, which is great. <laughs> oh, because you're banging. <laughs> yeah, that was a sick beat. <laughs> Super sick. Fun. Eighteen guys. Eighteen. Eighteen percent. Oh, the vote. <laughs> eighteen guys. We're talking eighteen percent here, man. Um, cool. Well, we'll see you guys Wednesday. I still have a bunch of fun things to talk about, so yeah, excited fun. for Wednesday. Um, and uh, yeah, join us on Patreon. Yes, all time quarterback comes out tomorrow. Yep. We also got lots of fall merch available. Lots of cool designs. Really excited to see people wearing them. Um, so support us on ghostrunners.life. Support our sponsors. Just send us a message telling us you're thinking about us. Love yep. seeing those. So uh, thank you guys. Have a great week. See you Wednesday. Cool. Ghost Runners Podcast. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody.